Okay, here's the compressor here, the outlet tube coming around on the back, going into that radiator cooling, which is fan cooled. And then it goes underneath the fridge, comes up here through the expansion valve, goes up to the evaporator inside, comes back down, and this is going into the compressor. Okay, so we're putting this one on the um, input to the compressor, coming out which of the is evaporator. coming out of the evaporator, which is coming from the top of the fridge, coming down. It's a cold line here going through the magnet, and that's what comes right into the compressor. And if we look at any of the diagrams, we can see from the evaporator into the compressor, so the magnet goes on right before the, it enters the compressor. That's what we have going on right there. Just band one side, slip it, slip it over, and then take the other tie, and that's about it for that one. We just had to pull the fridge out enough to get behind here, take out a few little bolts, and uh, this cover came right off. That took about a whopping one minute. And then the next one will be after it comes through the condenser, which is the radiator part underneath. And as it comes out of the compressor on this little tube that runs behind, goes into that basically looks like a radiator type grill setup all the way under the fridge. And this fan will be blowing air across it when it's plugged in comes out of that radiator grill which is the uh, condenser and then it comes out through this tube here before it comes up into the expansion valve and this is where we'll put the second one. So again from evaporator put the magnet on right before it goes into the compressor and then the second one is after the condenser before it goes to the expansion valve before the compressor inlet and before the expansion valve inlet. So that's going on to the line right before it comes up to the expansion valve, which is the line leaving the condenser, which is the radi basically the radiator underneath the uh, fridge. I'll edit that out. So you can just put a tie through one side, slip it over the tube, put it on the tube, and then take the tie and Snug it down on the other side. And you just take some snippers and cut off the extra and that's about it. And we're done. All I gotta do is close it back up, slide your fridge back in, and that's it. Okay, so we're just going to put this panel back on, and basically it's about maybe six or so uh, little screw-type bolts, um, basically wherever any of these holes are. We didn't yeah. show taking it apart, but it's basically the same thing, putting it back together. Okay, the thing is, is that these, this is like a, a, a metal cutting screw. And um, so what we want to make sure is, is that when we put these back in, we're going to start by turning them backwards because we don't want to cut a new thread. We want to go into the same threads that were there before. So we start by going backwards so that we can make it fall into the same thread. 
because if you, if you cut a couple of threads, then you'll never be able to get it tight again. You'll strip it out. So that's the one, the one little trick, since this is how it's... Uh, so we, we start, and we start by turning it backwards. And when it clicks in like that, then it's fallen into the thread. Now we can go forward without cutting a new thread. And we can snug it up tight. And that's it. Fred is pushed back into the corner. And of course, since it, the magnets are inside of the cover, there's not going to be anything extra sticking out in the back of the fridge. So you can just push it right back exactly where it was.